Hey, this is Allie Edwards, and Week in the Life is coming very, very soon. Week in the Life is a seven-day documenting project where you are invited to do a deep dive into the story of what your right now looks like. In today's video, I just wanted to give you a look at how I'm setting up my album in advance this year, which will give me a little bit of a path or a foundation or a framework to follow when I put all of my content together, but also as I look for stories during the week. This can be a huge project if you want it to be. It can be a smaller project if you want it to be. There's lots of different ways that you can make this your own based on what's happening in your own life this year. So keep that in mind as I talk about what I'm planning this year. There are lots of different ways that people in our community approach this project. So I'm working in the, I'm going to be working in the eight by 10 album this year for week in the life. I've done a variety of things. Sometimes I don't do anything crafty during the actual week. Sometimes I just focus only on the words and the photos. And that's really the way that I've approached it for quite a while. I still think that that's probably going to be my main way that I approach it this particular week coming up. But I have gone ahead and set up some of these things. And so I do have the option of maybe jotting down notes uh, during the week itself. And we'll talk about that in, in just a minute as we as we dive into how I'm setting this up. So what I'm going to show you is when I approach this project, which is a big undertaking, I do like to have some foundations in place. And so I also often create a formula that gets repeated each day. So what I'm going to show you right here is the formula that I've set up for myself this year. I would say this is subject to change a little bit. Sometimes after I do the documenting or as the week begins, I find or see things that just don't make as much sense as I thought they were going to. And that's perfectly okay, too. So I'm starting mine out with the transparency, the day of the week transparency and the Monday heart. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to stick inside of there. Mine is going to begin with a full page photo. I have the page protector in here for an eight by 10 photo. So I might end up using that I may do a full page photo that's outside of the page protector. I'm leaving this in there so that I know that this is what I want to do, right? Thinking in terms of bigger photos, or that it could be a photo collage also and we've got some great digital layer templates in the shop that could help make the collage part easier for you as well so there's a front and the back on that and then we come into this particular page which is going to be one of the first pages with actual information or content I am using the vellum one word for the for today so each day I'm going to have this card is going to be in this spot so this is what you're going to see repeated um, so I've got that in there this is the back of another card so there will be a photo here and have a photo here that goes in in with the uh, chipboard frame. I believe this was from the Week in the Life mini kit. I'm going to have that in there. And then I'm also going to have the Monday Facts and Feelings card. So this is what I think I will probably jot down during the week, right? I will have this card out in my office. I can come in here and I can be like, okay, Monday, what were some facts and what were some feelings? And just jotting down a couple things, right? That will be one way for me to organize my storytelling. Then the back will be set up like this. So I've got the Monday card there with the grid. This is from the main kit. And my initial thought, there's lots of different things that you can put on here, right? In these little spots. Uh, it could be photos. You could print out two by two photos. You could cut out ephemera. Ephemera means things like uh, receipts or uh, things that come in the mail or, you know, different things that you pick up, evidence of people's handwriting and something else. And even if you just cut into little ones, you can cut little pieces out, it can become like a collage. And then on the back here, I'll have space for additional photos, a four by four photo and a four by six photo that'll be on the back. Next, I'm going to have this big, uh, let's see, what is this? This is four by eight. And this has the morning, afternoon and evening, this will be another spot that I will write down, uh, handwritten, right, writing on here. And then this will be a spot for a photo. And then on the back, I will also have a spot for long photos or a photo collage. If I have additional photos, I can add them in here. Uh, again, maybe as a photo collage, maybe as just some additional really big, large photos. And additional storytelling that I do, you know, maybe each day we'll have a four by six journal card with additional words that would go here or a journal card, or, you know, I would print out an eight by four that would fit in here that just had my story for the day. That might be something that I do as well. Those are some of the things that I will figure out later on, but this gives me a general sense of where am I going, right? Where am I going with this? Where am I going to, this content that I'm going to record over the course of the week, where am I going to put it? This is essentially how I'm setting this up for myself in advance. And like I said, 
I like to create foundations like this, but then I also like to invite flexibility and understand that things can change or things can come up or I can change my mind or be like, ah, that doesn't really fit exactly how the week turned out, so I'm going to change that up. I haven't added all the hearts to the front of these yet, but I have added in the rest of the pages. So I was just going to do a flip through here so you could see how I have this set up. So here's my 8x10 full page. Then we've got different things for all the Tuesday things, right? I've got my one word for Tuesday. This is the vellum page. Um, then on the back here, I've got the Tuesday card. Again, I'll be. this is going to be spots for me to fill in pieces of my story. One of the things that I think happens with people in this project is you can end up with way too much content. And too much content can be both a positive and a negative depending on your approach or depending on how you handle lots of content. Does lots of content intimidate you and freeze you? If so, then you might want to not give yourself so much content during the week, meaning you do not have to take a picture of every single thing. You do not have to write down every single thing, but you can, and you can use as much of that as you want, right? That's one of the things that I, that I continue to want to impart to people as I talk about this project. Uh, you can add in as much or as little as you want. And even if you take you know, however many hundreds of pictures over the course of the week, you're probably not going to fit all of them into your project. But those photos exist then as opportunities for different stories that you might want to tell, right? Different stories outside of this particular week in the life project. So just things to think about as we go along here. So I'll just keep showing you there. We've got the one word for the eight by 10. And then we've got the Wednesday and the one word for today. I mixed up the colors. I didn't try to make them matchy in terms of like I could have put this one right here with the Wednesday. I don't think that they line up exactly. So I think that was part of the reason why I then intentionally just switched them up. And as you can see, I'm not doing a lot of embellishing yet. This is basically just kind of laying out what's the formula that I'm going to work off of during this particular uh, project. And at least it, in terms of how I think it's going to go from the beginning. So then we've got that eight by 10 again, we go into Thursday. Uh, the one word for today, I like that because it gives me an opportunity to encapsulate the day and to play around with words, which is something that I love to do. So I'm kind of excited to see what I end up uh, adding on there for those particular little pieces. We've got the Thursday card there and Thursday card here. Friday, going in again, just showing you how it's very formulaic, at least at this point, in terms of setting up that initial structure for myself. Friday, Saturday. Now, a couple things. If you are using the 6x8 album, which is what I've done this project in for many, many years, and you got these transparencies, you can easily cut them down right to that size. Other things that you can do, you know, it's kind of figuring out what... What are the things that you want to do? I was wondering, I want to pull out one of my six by eight albums. I want to see if these fit in there. Yeah, they're, oh, okay, I know, remember. So these are definitely a little bit too tall, right? They're not, they're 10, they're four by 10. But the cool thing about these is that you can cut them. And that was part of the reason why we decide, designed them this way. I'm remembering now um, that these could be cut. So you would have the Friday is the four by four and this is the four by six. So you could play around with that if you were using a smaller sized album. Uh, trying to trying to think of those things as we are designing products too. There's the Saturday. There's that full page there. Got the Saturday cards, all the things that say Saturday on them already coming into Sunday. And then this will be wrapping up the end of the project. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a quick look. I know many of you like to see how I'm setting things up. Uh, again, there have been many years where, I've, where I haven't done any setup in advance and I've just dove into the project and I've collected my content and then worked on bringing it all together uh, in the or after I've after the week is complete and I will definitely be doing that again but I love giving myself just a little bit of time for forethought and looking ahead in terms of how I might want to approach collecting all of this content at the end of the project. All right, there's lots more Week in the Life content on my blog. I've been doing this project again since 2005, so it's lots and lots of years of, of Week in the Life documenting photos, stories, all of that good stuff. And I hope to be bringing you a little bit more here as well as we get closer to this year. If you guys have any questions on this, you can let me know in the comments below.